The following is an edited recording from a live video broadcast. Image and audio quality may vary. With the loss of film magazines, do kids still stick posters on their bedroom walls? Now, the reason why I brought that up is because it occurred to me just like yesterday, back in our day, we used to get the Star Trek poster magazines and the Star Wars poster magazines. Even TV Week had posters in them. You'd rip out the staples, get out the posters, blue tack them to the walls or sticky tape them, depending on how you did it. Do kids still do that? And Even, if so, where are the pictures coming from? Um, yeah, they do. Probably not as much as when we were growing up, just because the whole culture has shifted with pop culture and how kids enjoy and interact with stuff. We have two big poster racks in the shop and they regularly run out of posters. And it's all ages that buy posters. I do have to say probably the people that buy the most posters probably are teenagers moving out for the first time and they might come in and buy 10 posters to put all over their new unit or wherever they're moving to. I don't know, Dags, if you remember growing up when you were a teen or whatever and you'd you'd loiter at like um, Doncaster Shopping Centre and you'd go into the news agencies all had poster racks then and, you know, there'd be the skeleton sitting on the toilet or a re really nicely arranged bread arrangement. You know, they were the same ones in, in every um, shop. They don't really exist anymore. If you go into Kmart and Target, they have the Marvel and DC and Star Wars. I agree. You can go to the stores as your store, buy them out of, out of the out of the racks and whatever. But what is missing is when you used to get the magazines, pull out the staples, bang on the. There's one on either side of the of the of the um uh, which page this side that side sticking them on walls. So if you don't have access to professionally printed posters, like in your shop or maybe in the in the shopping centres, where do the posters come from? Now you would have done it. I did it. Right, you got your spaceship ones. You stuck them on the wall from this magazine, that magazine. Is that entire thing now gone? Do they have to be from the store pre-bought now? No, no. There are magazines that still have pull-out posters. I think it has changed. When we were growing up, and when I was growing up, it was like the Star Trek posters or or you know Star Wars poster magazines. Now it's actually gone more to anime and gaming. So. I know my son often will pull a Nintendo poster out of a Nintendo magazine from the news agents, and he's only bought it for that magazine. So I know they are still around. They're not as prevalent as they used to be, but you can still get poster magazines. So that's what that was interesting because I thought if a younger person is going into a news agent to buy a magazine, that would have to be such a foreign concept to them because everything now is digital. You want to see a picture of something? You just look it up online. Oh, I want to see a poster of the Starship Enterprise. Bang, there it is. There's an image. There's a GIF or a JPEG. What do I do now? I can't put that on my wall. Where do I get pictures from? And, of course, what made me think of this is I remember now it was more for music-related things, like your TV weeks of the world where you put up pictures of band, bands, uh, musical artists, whatever else. And I was in a friend's place one time, and they completely decked out the entire bathroom from of posters they got from magazines. And that's what made me think of it the other day and go, can anybody even do that now? Even if they wanted to do it, can they still do it? And, um, yeah, it's a, it's a lost art form because uh, the last thing I would find weird is if you walked into a kid's bedroom, say a 15-year-old kid's bedroom, and the walls are blank or they've got or everything's framed, and you go, where's the blue tack marks? Where's the sticky tag? Where's the dodgy pictures that are, like, half falling off the walls? Shana said the daughter bought three copies of a Taylor Swift magazine so she could be pulled apart and placed on the walls. That and, and hopefully you said to... To her, Shane, this is what we used to do all the time, right? It was a fantastic part of life and it was a part, part of growing up and it was a part of individuality. How do you yeah. individualize your place? I was wrapped when I finally got the, pit and the opportunity to put Star Trek pictures on my walls. I thought it was the greatest thing ever. This is the Dag's room, right? You walk in, you're walking into, into a nerd's room the way it should be. And, uh, I just think that's kind of lost now. So, yeah. Shane might have had um, Samantha Fox. I had the Sea <laughs> yeah. yeah. Devils and the <laughs> Yeah. I had the Sea Devils and the Sontarans and the Silurians. So I was way cooler. Oh, yeah, right. Exactly right. Now, okay. Now, this fans, uh, this is actually quite important because we've got one of these coming up. So, the uh, absolutely love it. How's this? There was even a Salvage One. Post the magazine. Who would have bought that? Selvage one. 
God, they must be desperate for sales that day. What the, the hell, same man? Person, the, the, the same person that was buying the Quark magazines. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely fantastic even in movies now if you watch things like et and even tron legacy or whatever they're set in the 80s with a kid's bedroom wall and they've got posters on the walls and you go yeah that's exactly what we used to do and uh when, when you watch um the bumblebee movie which is a transformer movie yep. the girl in that has sci-fi posters all over the wall and it just broke my disbelief because there was no girl in the 80s that had tom baker posters on the wall <sighs> <laughs> if only you could get if it, you, you need your TARDIS to go back in the time machine to end up in her bedroom, walk in and go, Hey, I'm Aaron Challenge. Do you want me to talk to you about the jockey? <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Anyway, that's our um, uh, our question without warning uh, for this week. And I bet it started off a chain reaction of people out there thinking, Oh my God, I had this and I had this and this and this and this. It was a fantastic time. Uh, but at least you are right. If you do want posters for your walls, although they tend to be quite big. Um, mm. Uh, get them in the uh, in your store, and as I say to customers who walk in looking at the posters, thinking, "Oh, these are awesome," and they say, "We've got no wall space." And I said, "Stick them on the damn ceiling. That's untapped real estate up there." So, yes, very very yeah. cool.